harvest muga silk, a male and female moth are selected to mate. Then, the female moth is tied to the karika, a stick with a hook made of thatch grass or twine. This is where the female lays its eggs. The karika are then transferred to a som tree, the host plant for muga worms. Here, tiny ash-covered larvae, known as chai muga, hatch and begin to feed on the leaves. But the larvae are vulnerable at this stage, so farmers need to keep a watchful eye to ensure that they can form cocoons needed to make muga silk. They shoot clay pellets into the fields, keep potential predators at bay, and protect the larvae. After one or two months, they can collect the mature caterpillars. <laughs>